Ah, PowerPoint. Okay. Essa chama também. Não, não, não. Olá. Não te ligas, mas como chama o Anis? Can you all be uh, until uh, noon? Twelve. Ok. Share. Snimamo se te vai. Já está tudo. Ok, so first of all. Do you see presentation? Can you see it? Uh, no, no. Can you hear us? We can hear you. You can't hear us. Okay. Yeah. So you can hear, you can you can see, you can smell, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so when I say smell, uh, you can see in video the performance we are talking about the maiden sleep. Uh, I also introduced the smell uh, in the performance when she was going out of the door to the light. Uh, the audience is surprised with the smell of flowers and everybody was turning uh, right uh, back to see what it was about. There were fans <laughs> reproducing and sending smell all over the, uh, the performance uh, place, I mean. So, uh, Hours of Sand uh, is a performance about the time, about history also very philosophical theme, but we are all in it. Uh, I'm not going to read it, but I'll say I have to make a, a small introduction because uh, otherwise uh, the photos you are going to, uh, to watch, you can't understand what they are about. Uh, so hmm, the same principles as in other performances, so we needn't uh, read it. Uh, the, I said the performance about history and about uh, the beginning of the world and about today. So very large scope of time. Uh, I started with uh, unshaped material down on the floor and the, the building is visible behind it. The building which means the beginning or the beginning of individual life, the beginning of life uh, uh, generally I mean. The angel, uh, which is here, this, this puppet, uh, it is, uh, this figure, I mean, uh, it, is, it was inspired by a text of uh, Walter Benjamin, Angelus Novus. Uh, so he says uh, that the history is uh, just a bigger and bigger amount of ruins. And uh, so, uh, the angel uh, starts, uh, tries to stop it, this, let's say, development. But he can't because the wind is strongly uh, pushing him forward. And he can't do anything to prevent uh, this accumulation of ruins. So it was the philosophy of it. Uh, after this uh, shape on the floor, where the bodies are uh, like, a, like a snake, something like that, the angel comes with uh, faces and, uh, and he uh, chooses who will come into life. But these beings uh, you can see here are not individualized uh, yet. They're just, just beings. Uh, later on, they, uh, little by little, they get characters. On this uh, uh, photo, you can see how uh, something which is, which is uh, how to say, just, just general as a human being, you say, uh, comes into character. Uh, from the door of this building uh, come two persons. Uh, they, have, they are uh, visible and they are carrying masks uh, in their hands. When they come out, they step out, uh, they uh, put the masks, in, one mask in front of the face and another uh, they uh, the costume is make uh, like a roll you know a roll of paper and they just unroll this down and so they present them, themselves as a, a female and and uh, male uh, after that they uh, from their pockets they take out these uh, heads uh, children's heads 
babies, yes, which means now they are becoming a family. So, you know, it is like, uh, like how to say, uh, zooming, you know, perhaps we have about, uh, we have the picture of uh, uh, general human beings. Now we are zooming to this family. So it is also a film technique, isn't it? Uh, here you can see quoting uh, yes, the, the man uh, who is um, trying uh, to um, attract the um, uh, well, attraction of this this uh, woman on the on the window. But here I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Unusual. Uh, um, the difference between maiden sleep and these uh, hours of sand is that in maiden sleep I have just uh, one character which is divided into five persons, uh, performances, as I've already said, which are completely uh, um, indistinctive in the same dresses. Uh, but here, the characters are so uh, different and so various because it was the point I was working with. Uh, many different masks, not uh, by chance, but chosen on purpose with special meanings, and many different figures. And the development of these figures was the theme uh, to this Bauhaus, uh, is Bauhaus inspired uh, figures are uh, something uh, which uh, I can't explain in words, but uh, they are those uh, who will come on the stage in one moment when our family is, uh, has, uh, when the house has been uh, ruined, pulled down, and some other people will come and continue this history. So th they should be somehow different and, and uh, I don't know how, how to define them. Um, here in this example, I'm going to, uh, to present you the, uh, the my technique, uh, how I, uh, how, how I, uh, um, <laughs> I work with time. Uh, the mask on the window uh, has put this, uh, this small trousers uh, on the line and then she pulls this uh, so we can't see the trousers after some time because it is, it is away. After a few seconds uh, she puts on the line another trousers but trousers uh, of let's say a small boy of 10 for example and also pulls it away. So in, in the third run she makes, she uses the big uh, trousers of an uh, adult child. So it is the, how to say, the sign uh, visualized how time passes. Uh, here you can see uh, uh, what was uh, important was uh, made, uh, was presented in uh, shades, uh, shadows, and what is not important was presented in front because I always in these facades and these curtains I always have the light motif of playing, uh, uh, playing uh, and confronting visual and unvisual. What is in front and what is behind? What is seen? What is not seen? As we have seen in, in the quotation of Silvius, this is Angel who has this uh, sand glass because you know all the time and our time and time in the history and time of the family and time of the individual is limited. Uh, here you can see the end of the performance when uh, where the facade is uh, ruined and falling down and those creatures who will continue the life but they have nothing to do with us anymore and with our performance anymore. The end of the performance also contains a sign of this pram, perambulator uh, for child, um, because um, the main ca characters are man and woman who were presented in, 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 at the beginning, you remember, when coming out of the house. And the woman uh, has, uh, she, she is um, trying to come uh, to front with this uh, pram and uh, struggling over these ruins. But after some time when she is, uh, visible uh, closer to us, she takes up the pram and in, in it we can see just the black area. There is no child, there is no future in it. So for me it is a sign, strong sign. Uh, some, some people in the audience, some women were crying on this scene, you know, so it means they understood it. But the man who is not present here in the picture, uh, he is sitting uh, we're not sure whether he's alive or not alive anymore, 
then the angel who is trying to, to uh, repair all these uh, ruins and can't, of course, can't repair it. The angel comes with a small paper house. It was made of, of printing paper, format R4, A4, you know, like an irony. And he tries to uh, console him with this paper house. And it is the end of the performance. Uh, here uh, we have another performance, which, which I have uh, made uh, before and after. A kaleidoscope, uh, here you can see uh, this curtain made of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, horizon, uh, made of paper, normal paper, and uh, shapes uh, which are coming into life. Uh, they're not cut uh, uh, with care. They're just cut with paper, you know, with hands. And after some time, because the animators are behind them, they come to life from this background and start the performance and start the play. Uh, here we have seen, the, uh, we can see the uh, relation between man and object in a different way, because I have chosen here the Shakespeare's uh, text, uh, Seven Ages of Man. Uh, you know, from the, the birth, uh, for, from being a small child to the end, to death. And uh, the chair was uh, represented all the uh, objects and all the situations that are not the man, all different. And just by uh, putting their bodies into uh, different uh, postures, they illustrate uh, with no talking, with no illustration, with no mime, that's also important, uh, different uh, relations. Uh, here is uh, one puppet, which is not very much beautiful, and uh, the anima animators uh, have long sticks, and uh, the at the beginning of the, of the performance uh, of this uh, image, uh, the puppet is down on the floor, and they try uh, hard to uh, put it into life, uh, to enable him to make one, the first and the only step, which is a symbol of, for ev every man, every living being, that it is the most difficult task to make the first step. And after some time, he is also coming back down. Here you can, you can see the play, playing with masks, only one player, only one, um, performer with two masks, uh, one on the face and two apart, and also uh, speaks about the solitude, about loneliness, trying to imagine that there is a partner, there is another character here, but then uh, we, we see that it is not because mask is falling down on the floor too. Then two people are presented uh, uh, beside her, but it also doesn't last long, you know. Uh, here you can see uh, something like hybrid between a man and the object and material because those uh, people presented on the stage start with no burden. Uh, they're free. After some time, they're just passing by, passing by and meeting. Uh, they get one box on the back, then another box and then another. And so it is accumulation of boxes and not only on the backs, but on legs, on arms, making them inanimate, more, more or less inanimate object. Perhaps I, we, can, uh, we can find a relation to what is uh, alienation. You know, how man becomes a thing. Uh, here I have uh, one face. It was inspired by uh, by a natural phenomenon in Slovenia, which is called Aidovska <laughs> Deklica. Uh, on the, on the uh, rock, there is a face like that, I mean, natural phenomenon, and uh, I put it uh, like a big mask, which four animators have to play with, and uh, there are eight pieces of it. And you can't believe, believe it, but they can not only make profile, like they are doing here, but they can, uh, the mask can open the mouth, uh, the eyes, eye, one eye can go apart. It is like, uh, it is something like, uh, really like a dream or, or how to say drug, <laughs> when taking drugs. And uh, the music is also so psychedelic. But you know, when we were with this performance, it was uh, the, the, 
the time, hard time for our country uh, during the war, people find <laughs> the explanation that it is Yugoslavia coming apart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like so, you know, so defined, mm -hmm. but it, it is not forbidden to read it as you like it, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, here are also uh, this this theme. Uh, I mean, the theme of uh, coming uh, in front and behind, hidden in the these bags and so on. Uh, more or less the same, uh, more or less uh, the same hybrid. Uh, that could be interesting. Uh, the girl comes on the stage, uh, completely free, happy, joyful, and after some time, uh, the other. Uh, the, the other participants uh, hang on her body, something uh, with the intention to embellish her. You know that women should be beautiful, of course, yeah, and work on it. And so, but it is rubbish what they're hanging on her. And after some time, it happens like that. You can perhaps recognize some of these parts of rubbish. And she can't move anymore because when they put, put many things on her head, this, ha this, uh, this hand is paralyzed. But she, she's optimistic, but she uses her legs. Then something is put on her leg and she's optimistic. She, uh, there, is, there are some fingers uh, left and she plays with the fingers. You know, it, it is very, 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 how to say, strong. Uh, the same uh, theme. Uh, in this uh, part, I wanted to explore uh, how is it, hmm, wait a minute. Hmm. Sorry. Uh, I wanted to explore, I mean in the performance, but be, be, during the um, prepare, preparing and playing with the material, what is possible to make with this long, long material? Is it possible to suggest a story and uh, how to say uh, uh, being, uh, human beings or some other, uh, other beings or other uh, phenomena. Uh, at the end, you know, uh, everything is going up, up, and here you can read many situations, many relations, uh, which don't resemble uh, uh, things we know from life, but we can imagine them. Uh, here you can see how stage scenography leaves. It is not just a curtain hang behind, it leaves and changes. Uh, here we have the dialogue between uh, uh, performer and uh, uh, pieces of clothes. Clothes. Uh, no one should say that clothes are puppets, but for me, clothes are puppets because if you take something, like say a, a child's dress, with a special feeling and uh, special uh, special uh, care it can become your partner and you can uh, make dialogue uh, with, with this object. It is the end of this. When she tries to collect all the things, perhaps people who are not anymore here, who knows what else, and she tries to, to uh, somehow to, to grasp it, but can't. Uh, the, the, here you can see how uh, I, I'm putting them to draw a puppet in the air from these elements. It should be a swan. You can see the neck, you can see uh, wings, and you can see the grass down. And it is uh, uh, in real time on the performance they are playing to make the puppet and something like that. Uh, here you can see uh, it is the form uh, the uh, the performance about uh, Tila Durie, one German uh, well-known uh, actress, and here you can see uh, how uh, from the ceiling all the all her rows are coming down in the shape of uh, dresses, because she had uh, she was famous and she had uh, she was Saloma, she was uh, uh, many uh, Shakespeare's many roles and here you can see all the her memories uh, her dresses are coming down from the ceiling or from the sky and she has chosen one this one of Judith uh, I think we have not more time because you know yeah, yes. there. okay Mm -hmm. well, I'm very sorry because I've prepared some things about ambiental theater, like you can see here in Grozhnyan, I have chosen one building for sale, and uh, the, uh, play, we are playing with all the windows and doors simultaneously. 
uh, and you can see, uh, for example, this, you know, this uh, creature, uh, <laughs> this, uh, this character is uh, stretched through the whole building. And uh, I have always uh, tried uh, to make a dialogue, uh, if I was in place like that, uh, Grozhnyan in Istria, dialogue between uh, man uh, and uh, uh, performer and the ambience. And just I'm going to, to go through it, you can see. Ambient of theater. So, and here, uh, just to, sh to show you some things, Bauhaus influence from another performance, stylization, uh, uh, the scenography which is alive, balls coming from the floor, one ball uh, which makes the character of the, the actor, So, uh, yesterday I showed you this uh, list of uh, names, uh, these books, which I would uh, suggest you to find and to read, translated into Croatian, and uh, that was all. Thank you for your attention. Okay, this is very uh, easy. <laughs> and now I will uh, uh, stop recording. Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, we will send you a video when I put it on YouTube and uh, uh, we will send them presentations. Okay, maybe, maybe to Doria and Andrews because they were good uh, listeners. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, just uh, wait uh, till I stop uh, recording. Oh, um, Ah, wait, 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 wait.